Control plane is essentially a means to simplify how you operate a network. I have here a remote control. If you think of a remote control with your television set, and you push a button, and on comes a channel, you change a channel, the push of a button. It's the same thing with the control plane. It's about simplifying and hiding all the complexity that goes on in the network. So the user, the operator, just has to push a button and things happen in an automated way. Another way to look at it is telephone set. We used to have people sitting at central offices that, that would listen to you and would do something in the background to connect your call. Nowadays, we have a phone set on which you press a number and your central office talks to your phone and, and figures out what to do, who to dial. Control plane is important because the networks today are grow growing at an unprecedented rate. There are new applications coming out daily and uh, the bandwidth demand is increasing a lot. It gets so tough to manage a network these days that uh, in, in case you don't have a sophisticated control plane, uh, you know, it's almost impossible to roll out services or manage networks. What it allows us to do is to simplify how the operator uh, operates the network. It's automating many of the complex processes that have to take place behind the scenes. When you think about the amount of iPhones that are out there in the network and people downloading and watching videos and, and how it changes traffic flows through the network has just radically changed control plane and the dynamic settings in the network that it allows has become much more important. Control plane is an important part of competitive positioning because increasingly it is extremely difficult to differentiate products based on hardware. In fact, hardware is commoditizing and not just the optical systems space, but overall in telecom equipment. So increasingly to drive profitability and to drive revenue growth, we have to differentiate our products and solutions based on software. And control plane capabilities is one of the most important parts of software development in the industry right now. A control plane allows the network elements in the network, that would be the switches or the, the amplifiers, or allow them to, to communicate with each other. They talk to each other, they say hello to each other, and they identify who's there in the network, who's, who they're connected to, and then they build a picture of what the network looks like. Imagine an application where in, in the event of network failures, connections get restored as quickly as the blink of an eye, versus traditional restoration mechanism which used to take seconds or in the order of minutes sometimes. Ever thought about defragmenting your hard disk on your computer? Well, the control plane helps you to defragment the traffic in the, in the network so you make more efficient use of the network and therefore make it more cost effective. I would say that Sienna is the undisputed leader in control plane technology. We have been developing control planes as a solution, as an implementation for our switching products for the last 10 years, and we have them deployed on the largest networks in the world. The companies that we compete against in control plane capabilities and applications is primarily Alcatel-Lucent and Huawei. If we look forward, the key trend here on the competitive landscape is a larger number of competitors that we will compete against over the next few years, all of which understand that uh, control plane is one of the key areas that they will have to develop to build competitive differentiation. Sienna's vision is to be pioneers in the control plane functionality. We were the first ones to bring the mesh to the Sonnet SDH world. Now we want to repeat the same thing for a layer zero network. You think of packets, they might be classified as a layer two technology. You think of uh, Sonnet or um, more recently uh, OTN or the optical transport network, that might be classified as a layer one technology. And then you think of WDM or wavelength division multiplexing, that might be classified as a layer zero technology. These are coming together, they're converging. And so our vision is that this one network element will replace separate boxes that used to operate at each of those layers. It's that combination again of industry leading control plane and very sophisticated WDM capabilities that position us at the top of, of this opportunity. In the end, what we want to do is bring to the internet what digital switching did for our voice networks.